Good evening, you groovy people. Well, let's do a short, but very important, um, bit of information that you guys really need to know about this tracing app and what these bum shits are up to. So, I'll flip around the camera. We've got sneaky old Google, and it says, Android users beware. Google automatically signs you up to COVID-19 tracing app. If you use an Android phone and have not installed the COVID safe app, then you may have COVID-19 exposure notification already on your phone. To check, go to settings, scroll down to Google services and launch. If COVID-19 exposure notification is on top of the list, then tap on the three dots on the top right hand corner of your screen. Tap Usage and Diagnostics and turn that bitch off. And it gives a little warning of check regulate in case the Android system turns this on automatically. But yeah, with a little bit more. And again, these sneaky telty phones are at it. And it says, Info required from below video to stop the update of your system software for the Tracer software for your Android phone. You have to go to settings, search, in the search bar type in build number. Hit, then you'll get build number will come up underneath. Hit build number four times. It's a secret backdoor code to get you in. What you're actually going to do here is give yourself developer rights or permissions in your telephone. Now I had to hit mine four and then it requested another three so it wanted a total of seven taps to enter the doorway. Okay, so once you've done that, developer mode is activated. Go back to the search and then type in the search de developer. Underneath will come developer options. Hit developer options, go down the menu and turn off automatic system updates. This will prevent your phone updating a platform ready for the app, the Tracer app. They're so desperate to get this in before they move into lockstep three, the next phase of this pandemic riot in order to get the military on the streets. This is what it's about, folks. These riots, these are idiots, retarded people. I don't care what colour they are. I don't care what religion they might claim. They are retarded, who have only one thing they want to do, and that's steal. Steal what isn't theirs, because they can't earn the money to buy it themselves. That's the same. And the fact that there was English people in Britain rioting and protesting about a fake up in America just shows you how retarded they are in Great Britain too. So it's not just America, it's everywhere. We have a world full of retards and that is what is going on to divert your attention from the fact that a lot of you out there have realised that this nonsense called pandemic is exactly that. It's fucking nonsense. Nonsense says I. Why does I say nonsense? Well, get it into your heads people and I put this out on the 24th of March 2020. And this is from the UK government's own website. And it says, status of COVID-19. And this is the 19th of March, 2020. Five days before the lockdown was announced. And it says, quote, COVID-19 is no longer considered to be a high consequence infectious disease. Did you understand that? As of the 19th of March 2020, COVID-19 is no longer considered to be a high consequence infectious disease. And yet, you've all danced to this nonsense. This is a bad tune, people. A bad tune. And now you've come out of lockdown and they want you all masked up. They want you masked up in the shops. They want you masked up on public transport. Why? When the government's website says, I'll tell you it again, as of the 19th of March 2020, COVID-19 is no longer considered to be a high-consequence infectious disease. 
What is up with you people? Are you retarded? Are you stupid? Are you indeed Darwin's monkeys? I will leave you with that. Until the next time. Thank <laughs> you.